In this video, we're going to talk about graphing. Graphing is super important. If you guys leave physics and you don't remember anything about velocity or acceleration or momentum or anything like that, but you can graph, I will be happy. Graphing is so, so important. Okay, a line graph is for continuous data. This is a line graph. Okay, and this one's actually labeled really bad. It should say time right here. You always want to have a label. And then you could have distance right here. Okay, a bar graph is when you want to compare similar things. So um, I did this survey once, I think it was at Island, and we um, we compare, we took a survey in the class and we saw what were the different students' favorite stores. And um, so we compared several different things. It would be very difficult to have a line graph for this data if you had something like this, because it, 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 it doesn't really make sense. Like, what is this? Halfway between American Eagle and Polka Dots. That's, that's nothing. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to put this data as a line graph. And a pie graph will always compare parts to the whole. Okay, um, I did this with, a I think, a 10th grade class. And we were comparing our ages, maybe it's 11th grade, and um, in the fall. And so most of them were 16, a few were seven, um, 17, there were some that were fi um, 15, and then there were some that were even older, they'd been held back or whatever. And so we're comparing parts of a whole with a pie graph. 